Hey, me and Matt here. So, just finished watching both NXT and SmackDown. And NXT, holy shit. So, this show definitely was... I mean, I didn't see all of it, obviously. So, I'm probably going to read shit that I haven't watched. But, it is what it is. So... It starts off, you had the match with Kushida, Drake Maverick, and Jake Atlas. This match was a confusing match, to say the least. I mean, it was pretty good. Had a lot of offense from all three competitors. And it was Kushida putting Jake in the armbar, but Drake had pinned Jake and got the win. However, Jake tapped at the exact same time the referee hit two. So, yeah. You had Drake go up on the ramp, look at the title, and the hero Dave Fantasma comes out and they stare down each other. And then they had the replay for this matchup, and Drake says that he wants to play fair, but Kushida comes out and says, You won the match, you go get the uh, finals, and you win this match. Drake said, As soon as I get the title, you get first shot. I don't know what to think. I honestly don't know what to think. It's just. It really irritates me because it shouldn't have to be like that. It should have been restarted right away. But it is what it is. You know, I know that Drake Maverick left. He got laid off in the WWE because of COVID. And so, you know, dude does a video. He has sprinkles, a few tears. And, you know, he's just he's right back to where he... You know, and this usually happens, you know, they cry and piss and moan, and then they get back. I don't think it was pissing and moaning, I just think that, yeah, it's sad, he got laid off. Shit happens. But, to get that right away, I don't know. It seems, I uh, just, I... Don't know if I agree. That's just all I'm saying. I mean, that's just me. So, the match I didn't see was Johnny Gargano versus Adrian Alanis in a first ever Johnny invitation. This happened last week where he said he'll wrestle anybody, but I didn't see this match. So, I'm going to assume that it was good. Johnny won. Then Keith Lee and Mia Yim do a repeat of what Johnny and Candice did last week or the week before with the whole skit thing. So that was interesting. They're gonna have a match I'm sure and I'm almost positive it's gonna be great. I don't know. I just I wish I was able to see it, but it is what it is, you know. Raquel Gonzalez defeated Chachi Blackheart. Again, I didn't see this match. I really like those competitors. I think that Raquel being associated with Dakota Kai, who did get involved in the match, from what I hear from wrestling with regret, I think this was probably... You know, to be expected anyways. Anyway, Shotzi Blackheart is a good competitor when she comes out in a Toys R Us tank. It's pretty cool to see both these women in the match and wrestle. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but I do know that I can't wait to get the WWE Network again. It's uh, kind of frustrating. But then you had Charlotte Green, or Chelsea Green and Charlotte Flair defeating Rhea Ripley and Elo Shirai. 
you know, Charlotte was going to have a tag team partner, and it was cool that Chelsea Green and Robert Stone came out, you know. I think that Chelsea Green, even in TNA, had that kind of, mm, I don't even know how to describe it, but they make a good pair for sure. I could see them go out on SmackDown to compete for the Take Team Women's Championships. Just saying, but it was a miscommunication and Charlotte and Chelsea won, which left you all in the ring and Ripley outside. So yeah, I don't know where to go from here. I know they're having a match. NXT take over in your house, but you know, Adam Cole talked about a Velveteen Dream. You had Tommaso Ciampa defeat Leon Ruff, Karrion Cross addresses Ciampa. I wish I would have saw that match. Then you get the main event. Holy shit, I'm glad they kept this on the Spark 360. Timothy Thatcher and Matt Riddle in a fight pit match. So the match starts in the scaffold and you can imagine I'm afraid of heights and looking at that through their eyes looking down it was like a little bit breathtaking there for a little bit. This match was actually really good. I know their match last week was really good as well. I really enjoyed it. They work well against each other. Uh, it was Interesting in the beginning, Timothy had lost a couple teeth, and yeah, just kept going. Timothy choked out Matt having the win, and Kurt Angle being the guest referee was pretty cool as well. But yeah, this match was awesome, and as you'll see on SmackDown, you know, the show definitely was amazing, and you'll see what happens. Oh, who's gonna be on SmackDown? But this was a good show all around, and yeah, I hope next week I get to see more. Again, I don't get the WWE Network here in this location, so we'll see where that goes. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye.